I'm Sarah Jane from Launchpad. In this video, we'll be building some mind maps together that quickly demonstrate what a powerful tool Inspiration is for students. Inspiration allows students to think and learn visually, which is a really effective way of getting information in and out of your brain. And unlike a lot of mind mapping software, Inspiration is student focused. It's approachable, fun and intuitive. As an AT trainer, I've seen just how great inspiration is for boosting learning confidence. By creating organized visual representations of ideas and concepts, we can display large amounts of information in ways that are easy to understand and help to reveal relationships and patterns. This can improve a student's ability to organize and analyze information, integrate new knowledge and think critically, structure writing and retain information, and understand and solve complex problems. Let's begin with a diagram view. And we'll start with something really basic to warm up with. My main topic will be on the complex art of team making. And at this initial stage, we're really just gathering information without any concern for whether it's right or wrong or relevant. For this, I'm going to use Inspiration's rapid fire tool. And because I don't know yet how these ideas will link together, I'm going to choose without links. So rapid fire allows me to simply type an idea and hit enter. So I'll type the word tea bag and hit enter, type another idea, so milk, hit enter and so on. It's brilliant for getting lots of ideas down quickly. Let's add a few more. Now that we've enough ideas to work with, we can begin to organize them. So let's first identify things that look like they might belong in the same category and group them together. So we've got a mug, kettle and teaspoon, which look like they should sit together. So let's move them over here. And what's great about inspiration is how easy and natural it is to move and change things around on screen. So let's move these here. And I'll also group these ideas together here. The next step in the process is to add some subtopics to our main topic of tea. So now we're making decisions on how to label the groups and this will forge the direction and shape of our diagram. So these ideas might fall under equipment. So I'll add a symbol here. These are all ingredients. And finally, I'll also add one called process. Perfect. Now we can start linking these ideas together. I'm going to hit the link button on the toolbar. Then I can simply click an idea to make it active, such as our main topic, and then click on the idea that I want to link it to, such as my subtopics. Great, let's link the rest of these subtopics. Next, I can then link the subtopics to the ideas that fall within that group. And this is now really starting to take shape. Let's now add some color to further establish these different areas. So this color looks nice for the main topic. Let's also select this group and I'll make them a light purple. And for this group, let's pick yellow. We can then add some images from the simple palette. I'll search for the word T. Then I can simply drag and drop one of these images onto the appropriate idea. So let's use the kettle and also see what comes up for the word milk. And you can also use images that you found online or that you've saved on your computer. Now, if you want to expand on one of your ideas, you can add a note. I'll click this symbol to make it active, hit the note button on the toolbar, and then I'll add a bit more detail to this idea titled brew. Let's type leave tea bag in for three minutes, followed by a gentle squeeze, although that's a bit controversial to some. You can also add hyperlinks to link to any file saved on your computer, such as a PDF journal. We can also link to a web page, such as this one. So if we're making the perfect cup of tea, of course we'll be using Yorkshire tea. So inspiration is brilliant for organizing your research. You can use it to create a real learning hub with access to all your digital resources. And at any point, 
I can jump to the integrated outline view, which displays all my information in a linear format. Here, you can see the hierarchy of my ideas along with that note I added. I can continue adding ideas and notes here, or I can jump back to the diagram view and continue working here. Now we're on to some of the basics. Let's look at how we might tackle an essay question. For this, I'll open up an example file. And here we have an essay question on the painting Guernica by Picasso. This was created using the same process, getting all those initial ideas down quickly, grouping ideas together, adding subtopics, linking ideas, and bringing it to life with color and images. I've also included an approximate word count for each section. And remember, you can add a note when you want to expand on an idea. Here, the notes have actually been used to start drafting paragraphs. So this is going to be the body of the essay. You can also arrange your maps differently, depending on the task or your particular preference. So if I pick the tree arrangement from the toolbar, this information is now displayed in the top-down structure. Again, if I switch to the outline view, I now have all these ideas in a linear format. So basically, we've got our essay plan, and by adding notes, we've also worked on our first draft. I can make edits here and reorder the structure if needed. And when I'm happy, I can then transfer this to Microsoft Word. So this is bringing across the diagram and all the text elements into Word, but you can choose what information you want to take across. So this time, I'm just going to leave the notes ticked and click OK. And now we've got a really good first draft that we can tidy up and develop. So inspiration is great for breaking down writing tasks, but students can also use it to organize lecture notes, compare and contrast concepts or articles. You can create revision maps to expand and test your knowledge. There's so many possibilities. So let me now show you another example file. And here we have a concept map showing the process of photosynthesis. And students can get really creative with lots of freedom to customize maps in exactly the way they want. And notice, you can also add text within the arrows. Now this is really important for concept maps. It should read like a sentence when you follow each path. Okay, back to the start menu. And this time, let's look at the map view. This view might feel quite familiar to those students who may have already mind mapped using pen and paper. You start with a central idea which I'll call mind maps. And let's start adding some text to these branches for the themes we want to explore. Let's use this orange branch to explore the different components that mind maps use. Next, we'll explore what mind mapping is great for. The red one will look at the things you can organize. And this one can be for the areas that mind mapping enhance. We can then expand each of our key themes in greater depth by adding subtopics. Let's create some from the use branch. So mind maps use color, images, and keywords. Okay, among other things, inspiration is great for essays, note taking, and revision. And we can now expand this branch further. So let's add some more detail to essays with planning. And I'll also add writing. On to the next. And mind maps can be used to organize ideas, information, research and mind maps help to enhance memory creativity and focus we can always add another main branch to explore a new theme and at any time we can switch to the outline view when we want to see this information in a linear format and inspiration provides lots of example files to inspire students it's a great showcase of what you can do with inspiration so here we have a timeline showing a sequence of historical events. There's also lots of great templates which can be used to get you started on a range of different study tasks. So here's a concept map template along with some guidance to get you going. Inspiration is a powerful and effective thinking and learning tool, but also one that's really enjoyable to use. In no time at all, it can become an essential part of a student's study toolkit.